Hello, we're vlogging. So I went and did a bunch of shopping this morning and I thought that I would come back and make breakfast and it would be all cute and we would have like breakfast for lunch and then I came back and this kid <laughs> <laughs> went to freaking Starbucks without me. So he's already had breakfast and now he's like, well, what's second breakfast? So I'm gonna make a coffee and then I think I want bacon, little potatoes and scrambled eggs. All right, the boyfriend has ditched me and now I am making my food. I'm gonna make these little potatoes um, and then bacon and eggs, like I said. But I gotta cut these up and get them in the oven because they take like 40 minutes. But I really do want them. So I'm gonna try to cut them small and hope that they'll cook a little bit faster. All right, so I grabbed four potatoes, which was way too much. So I just made two, and then I put some avocado oil. And then I do a buttload of seasons. Lots of salt, because they're potatoes. Pepper. Um, I do this everything but the elote seasoning from um, Trader Joe's. I put this on pretty much everything. Delicious. I also have this Ajika Georgian seasoning blend also from trader joe's which i really like this one is a little spicy it's got like red pepper and such in it it's getting a little clumped up and then um fry seasoning which is like a hello fresh recipe thing it's just um onion powder garlic powder and paprika and then you just mix it up so we mix it in like a big batch and then just fill it into this and again we put this on everything potatoes chicken um vegetables like green beans and stuff this is really good burgers in the summer we'll do a little bit of italian okay and then i just mix it up with like all the oil that i just put on there And then I'll put these in the oven at like 425, 450 for, I start out at 20 minutes and see how they're doing. It's anywhere from like 30, 30 to 45, depending on how big you cut them. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and then just like do some computer work. Okay, while I'm waiting for the potatoes, I'm actually gonna show you how I make my coffee. I had a couple of you ask because I've been posting my coffee mugs on Instagram. I am like all about the mugs this year. So I figured I would show you in this vlog how I make my coffees at home. I think I have like a little menu thing up there. I think that I'm pretty much making like a macchiato. I order a white chocolate mocha when I go to Starbucks, but when I'm looking at this little menu over here, it is pretty much like a syrup, an espresso, and then a, um, like milk foam, so I think it's a macchiato. Possibly a latte, like a flavored latte. I don't know, I'll just show you what I make. Um, pretty much everything is from Amazon. I got, let me move you down a little bit. So this is an espresso maker from Amazon. Um, 
I got this for my boyfriend for his 30th birthday and I end up using it more than he does, but I will link this. It's like a base model. It's nothing like fancy, but it was a medium amount of money with a good amount of value. So I went with this one. Same thing with this. It's not the super biggest expensive one, but it's like a decent one. So this is the um, coffee bean grinder. If you get whole beans, which he does, I get um, a pre-ground coffee bean, but I'll show you that in a second. And then this is my milk frother, which I found from Raven Elise. So I will link this also. It's like amazing. It's the best thing. My dad got it for me for my birthday. Um, and then all of these syrups over here are from Tarani, which I ordered them from the actual website, which I will also link down below. So this is what I keep my coffee in. It's just like a big container from Ikea, I think, and we keep it in the fridge. I just get the um, pre-ground Starbucks blonde roast because that is my favorite kind. I like blonde roast. Um, and so basically what I'll do is put my coffee into here and then I take my little cup and I put my syrups in. So I use two pumps of caramel, one Irish cream and one hazelnut. When you order these from the website, you can also get these pumps. Um, I think the pumps on the website are gold and I didn't like that. So I just ordered these from Amazon with the black tops. And we've had a couple other flavors that are all right, but these are my main three. And if you order, I think it's $59. And then each one of these is basically like 10 bucks. You get free shipping. It comes so fast. It comes in like two days. So that is all amazing. And then I put my milk in here and I do a dense foam. So I press the button twice and put the foam on top. And depending on the cup, I don't get as much foam. It just depends on which cup I'm using and how big it is. And then I just do a drizzle of the Tarani Pure Made sauce. Um, we order all of the pure made from Trani because it's like a different sugar, so it's not like real a shit ton of sugar, but that is it. I just do the pumps in the bottom of the cup. I put my coffee over top of it through the machine, dump in the milk, and then do a drizzle of the caramel like saucy stuff. And I think it's really good, tastes delicious, and it's been significantly cheaper than going to Starbucks like three times a week. So coffee. Obviously, this coffee recipe is more for like sugary coffee flavor coffee drinkers because it has all the flavors and all the sugars and milk. It's not like a black coffee, but it's pretty good. For the bacon, I'm going to use another um, stone from Pampered Chef with foil and then put this little rack over the top of it. We've been baking the bacon for a while because I don't want to clean up after it. Boyfriend doesn't love it, but we used this rack last weekend and it was a little bit better and crispier, so I'm gonna try that again. And here is breakfast. Some eggs, little potatoes, and bacon. I'm still working on my coffee, watching Taryn's video. And yeah, I'm gonna eat and then get filming. I was supposed to start filming at two. So I'm actually really on target there. It is 120 perfection. This looks amazing. I've had lunch and I kept saying I'm filming at two, but I'm not filming today. I'm doing Skittle manicures for February because you are so lumbus. Hold on doing Skittle Mannies for February because every day in February I'm going to be posting a different Skittle Manny combo. Um, so I need to start getting those done. So today I'm hoping to get through maybe like 10, which would be almost half the month. What, what would be half the month? 14? I don't think I can do 14 today. I'm going to see what I can get through, but I thought I could just come up here and go straight to it, which usually I like to clean up my room. But I didn't think it was that bad, but I think I need to clean my room before I sit down and start. I have sheets from when a couple of friends stayed over last weekend that need to be washed. I have some stuff I decluttered out of our like linen closet. I have the bag that I just showed, um, like my shop with me. Crap. I need to empty my trash. I'm definitely going to have to re-up my acetone 
and my nail polish remover just to make sure that I'm ready. So I need to do all of that and clean everything up before I start swatching. Things are clean. It's now time to do Skittle manicure month prep. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I came up with 21 that I think will be cute. And then I asked on my Instagram, like what kind of Skittles you all would like to see. And you guys gave me some good ideas. So I'm gonna add those to this. And then this was just like throwing up ideas and putting them all onto the page. But now I kind of want to order them so that it'll make sense throughout the month then i can focus on the first 10 and get those done and then so on and so on because like i don't want to do one that i'm gonna plan to have for like the 27th that doesn't make sense to do that one first so i'm gonna do the rest of the planning then actually do this the actual nails i think 10 is a good goal i think i could definitely do 10 but yes there's a lot there's 28 to be exact, so I need to get on it. <laughs> Hopefully this is staying. I have like a monitor over here so I can see what what is happening, but this tripod is a mess. Just like my hair. Okay, so I went through all of my list of like where I put everything and then I put them all in order. So I'm gonna do a favorites, kind of like a, um, what is that glitter actually? Do I like that order? Hold on. Just a bunch of glitters. That's fine. Um, favorites, glitters, I'm going to do like a rainbow order, cool, warm, another favorites, some randoms, and then end with like seasonal, so spring, fall, winter, and summer. So, yes, I have everything in order, and now I'm going to do 1 through 10, which will be favorites, glitter, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, and brown. So I'm going to try to get through all of those tonight, and I also want to make some reels, with this I hate the fucking reels they're killing me but we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna pull a bunch of nail polish right now because I need four I need 40 polishes because they each have four times the ten <sighs> at least it's not full-on nail art all I have to do is paint my nails which is why I did the February nail art for this year as just skittles because I just felt like the nail art was going to be a lot. So let me pull polishes and I'll catch up with you later. I have no idea what this vlog is going to be. It might be multiple days. It might be just today. I have no idea, but I have lots to do still and I'm getting a little sleepy. It's 2.30, so we'll see what I can get through. 
Hello, I am almost done with what I wanted to get done. I'm on my sixth manicure, so I only have a few more left, but I just got an Amazon package that I wanted to share. So I got this water bottle. It's like literally bigger than my head, but it has the um, like times on it. It's 64 ounces. It also has the ounces on the back so that you can see that but it has the times which is what I was wanting because I'm really bad about like it'll be 10 o'clock and I haven't had any water for the day so I want to try this and it was really cool because it was like gray which is kind of my jam also got this which I'm gonna put together here in a second this mini acrylic rack I wanted a polish rack kind of like um these but smaller to put over here on my desk and to have like incoming polishes that I've purchased so that I can keep them kind of in my face because I've said this before where I'll like get a new polish or get like my or color pass or something I'll do the video or whatever I'm doing for it and then just put it away so I want to have like a little rack of like incoming new things that I can look at. I had this like spinny thing if you've seen, which has been really good for like putting polishes away. But as far as like having it in my face, I just can't see them over there. So I got a little rack. So I'm gonna put that together. Okay, so I got it put together and it's a, little, it's a little, like if you have bigger fingers than mine, which everyone does, it's going to be a little harder for you to get this together, but I am going to hope that a variety of different bottles fit, which is, ooh, it's looking good. So I'll just have it sit somewhere around here and it'll just have incoming things so I can see it and be like all right this is stuff that I actually need to try to wear or I don't know do something with but cute 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 I did it I did all of the swatches and such that I wanted to do and now we are going to get Mexican food and ignore the messy kitchen yes Mexican <laughs> yes. food ignore the kitchen ignore the kitchen I need to get boots and this is all the mess that I will put away when we get back. Lots of mess, but I have done a third of next month, which is lovely because it's only like the 22nd, so I still have more time to do things. So, perfection.